During 2004, the South African Optometric Association introduced the current coding system for spectacle lenses. The system was designed so that lenses were grouped by category, for example, single vision, bifocal, multifocal, etc., and that a unique code would be assigned to every bundled lens product. As technology and designs improved, so did the number of products, and therefore codes. We now have a catalogue of over 7,000 lens codes. Before embarking on this project, the South African Optometric Association held extensive meetings with all role players within the industry. For medical schemes particularly, there are many challenges related to billing of optometric services and products. Some of the most important issues are listed. Taking cognizance of all these issues, our aim was to present a new set of lens codes that would satisfy market needs and offer a sustainable, user-friendly set of codes with built-in intelligence. We have achieved our goal by reducing the number of unique product codes by almost 50% and then introducing supplier add-ons to be used throughout their own range of lenses and making the new codes understandable and user-friendly. Before continuing, I need to point out that the revised coding structure affects spectacle, glass and plastic lenses only. Professional fees, contact lens codes, Frame and laboratory procedures, ocular prosthetics, low vision materials, and miscellaneous package codes remain unchanged for now. The new codes will come into effect on 1st of May 2017, and the current series 3000, 7000, and 8000 will fall away. The new codes will increase from five to seven characters long. In addition, they will include both letters and numbers. Before going into any detail, let me give you a quick overview of what the various characters mean. As before, the first character, always a number, will identify the material. Also as before, a 7 will refer to glass lenses, whilst an 8 will refer to plastic lenses. The second character, also a number, will identify the category of lens. One for single vision standard or stock, two for single vision surfaced, three for accommodative support, four for bifocal, five for very focal intermediate to near, six for very focal distance to near, and finally seven for an add-on. The third and fourth characters are always letters and refer to the supplier. For example, HY for Hoya, ES for Essilor, and CZ for Carl Zeiss. The letters O and I are never used as they could easily be confused with the numbers 0 and 1. Two sets of supplier abbreviations should be identified. The first is not really a supplier, but used to identify a group of what used to be called generic base lenses, now simply base lenses, and assigned the letters BS. The second set is used to describe a group of unbranded lenses. These may be used by small laboratories or practices who import their own lenses. In the past, the only way they could code lenses was to make extensive use of add-ons or use the code 
for a similar branded lens. This comprehensive list of lenses has the supplier code UB. The fifth and sixth characters, which may be letters or numbers, are simple counters within a supplier's category. I'll go into a full explanation later, but for now, remember that for each supplier category combination, the counter starts at 00, zero and can go all the way to ZZ, giving a total of over 650 options per supplier per category. The seventh character has a slightly different meaning when used as part of a core code or an add-on code. For a core code, the seventh character identifies the tint as well as the refractive index of the lens. And as shown in the example, a 4 indicates a photochromic lens with an index up to 1.5. The numbers 1, 2 and 3 are used to represent clear lenses in the different refractive indices. 4, 5 and 6 photochromic lenses. 7, 8 and 9 polarized lenses. A, B and C for combined photochromic and polarized and finally D, E and F for blue block lenses. Light and dark tinted lenses are identified by the letters P and Q. This table summarizes the allocation. With an add-on code, the seventh character describes the coating. For example, A is hard coat, B anti-reflective coating, and C UV coat. Other letters are used to describe combinations of coatings. So in summary, first character is the material, second character refers to the category, Third and fourth characters indicate the supplier. Fifth and sixth are the counter. And the seventh character identifies the refractive index and tint of the lens. Turn your attention to characters five and six, which I've referred to as the counter. As I said, these begin at zero, zero, and can extend as far as ZZ if necessary. Take a look at the three Hoyer lenses listed. Summit CD 1.5 Sensity, Summit CD 1.5 SunTech, and Summit CD 1.5 Transitions S7. The properties of all these lenses are the same. 1.5 index photochromic. To code the first lens, the first character is an 8 to indicate plastic, second character is a 6 to indicate very focal distance to near, third and fourth characters HY refer to the supplier Hoya, and skipping over characters 5 and 6, character 7 relating to the index and color will be a 4. Coding the second lens. First character is an 8, second character is a 6, third and fourth characters HY, skip characters 5 and 6, character 7, again 1.5 photochromic is again a 4. Finally, coding the third lens. First character is an 8, second character is 6, third and fourth characters HY, skip characters 5 and 6 and character 7, once again, 1.5 photochromic is a 4. So we now have all three lenses fitting into the category plastic, very focal, distance to near from Hoya, 1.5 index photochromic. How do we differentiate them? Simple. The first one is 0, 0 the second 0, 1, and the third 0, 2. 
Let's go through some examples starting with code 72FC012. Seven is glass, two for single vision surfaced, FC is the abbreviation for focus optical, the last character, a two, means a clear lens with a refractive index between 1.51 and 1.6. The counter, 0, 1, indicates that the code is the second focus optical single vision surface lens with an index between 1.51 and 1.6. Next example. 84SK004. 8 represents plastic. 4 is for bifocal. SK is the abbreviation for Seiko Optical. And the last digit, 4, represents photochromic up to 1.5 index. The 00, zero means that this is the first code for a lens in this series. Looking at some of the rules, every lens is coded with a base code. Then there is an optional core code and finally an optional add-on code. Starting with the base code, this was previously called the generic code and here's a listing of the current generic codes and descriptions. With what I've already presented, you could almost allocate codes to these products yourselves. Let's look at the first one, previously 80011. 8 indicates plastic, 1 for single vision standard, BS would be the supplier abbreviation, but we're using BS for base. The last character is a 1, indicating a clear lens up to a 1.5 index. And then finally the counter is 0, 0, indicating the first lens in the group. Here's the completed list. Notice that all begin with an 8 for plastic. The second character increments from 1 to 6, identifying the lens group. Third and fourth characters are all BS for base lens. The base lens by definition refers to a clear 1.5 index lens, so the last character is always a 1. And in each case, the 0, 0 refers to the first lens in this particular group. The second component is the core code. Looking at the second character of the core code, we can separate a single vision standard lens, which is a 1, from any other lens type, which are all surfaced or individually manufactured. Standard lenses are bulk manufactured and are sometimes called stock or finished lenses. Coatings are applied at the time of manufacture and no further coatings can be added. It can be argued that a standard lens may be dip-coated, which is a hardening process, but there is hardly a finished lens made that is not already hard-coated. You cannot add prism, special base curve, or other manufacturing processes to these lenses. All you can really do, depending on the material, is to tint the lens. So that brings us to general rule number one. With the exception of tints, no add-on may be applied to a standard lens. Rule number two relates to surfaced core lenses. A surfaced core lens is always uncoated and usually requires an add-on, even if only to hard coat and therefore protect the lens. The add-on code is identified by the number 7 as the second digit. And rule number 3 is that, with few exceptions, 
the add-on supplier code must match the core supplier code. This example shows the correct usage. A basic optical call code with a basic optical add-on code. And this is incorrect. A basic optical core code with an Essilor add-on. As I mentioned, certain exceptions do apply. For example, the general manufacture codes for prism, special surfacing, frosting, etc. may be added. This short list of codes are still to be found under the generic add-on group. Implementation date for the new coding structure has been set for the 1st of May 2017.